Now to a possible shakeup of the royal family. This is likely to make Prince Harry, excuse me, Prince William, a very busy young man. CBS News correspondent Mark Phillips is in London with the latest. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Harry. Well, a spokesman for the royal family calls it nonsense, but it takes more than a royal denial to kill this kind of story. Prince William, it is claimed, is being groomed as a shadow king instead of his father. It's being billed as another stunning revelation about Prince William that amounts to, well, nobody's quite sure. My brother and I were lucky enough. The 27-year-old William is still a prince in search of a role. And one of Britain's newspapers now suggests that role is to overtake his father as the torchbearer for the future of Britain's royal family. William's grandparents, the story goes, the Queen and Prince Philip, are slowing down. So William, who is already scheduled to represent the Queen on an upcoming trip to Australia and New Zealand, is allegedly being groomed to take on more of the burden. This at the expense of his father and stepmother, Prince Charles and Camilla. Charles, the newspaper suggests, is less trusted by the palace because he doesn't have William's star power, and Camilla lacks the stamina for the rough and tumble of royal celebrity. Prince Charles and Camilla are not going to have the same cachet for magazines for interest in them. The story of William's increasing profile inevitably fuels speculation that the palace would rather he be the next monarch and not his father, a scenario repeatedly denied by anybody who actually knows anything about royal affairs. Prince William has been inducted into an ancient order of British knights in a ceremony at Windsor Castle. He's now a Knight of the Garter, all part of his steady elevation in rank as second in line to the throne. This was a royal coming of age for the young man who will one day be king. 
Prince William wore blue robes with a black cap and ostrich feathers, the traditional attire of this most elite of groups. The Order of the Garter was founded 660 years ago by King Edward III. It's the most senior order of knights in Britain and the only one whose members are chosen by the Queen herself, not the government. It's not necessarily the case with him that he's done something magnificent like so many of the normal knights, but because he's a member of the royal family and one day he'll be king, he takes his place. William is only the 1,000th member of the order in its long history. He joins the Queen and Prince Philip, all four of their children, and two former British Prime Ministers. Prince William is the first of the Queen's eight grandchildren to be knighted. It's an acknowledgement that as the future king, he holds a more senior status than his brother and cousins. Prince William became second Lieutenant Wales today as he received his commission as an army officer. He marked the end of his training at Sandhurst Military Academy with a parade watched by the Queen, the Prince of Wales and his girlfriend. Nicholas Witchell was there. He was already on the parade ground in the front rank of the Sovereign's platoon. Kate's neighbour evidently hadn't spotted him, but she certainly had. And from him, a quick glance to make sure the guests had arrived safely. For the second time this year, the Queen attended the parade to see one of her grandsons complete his officer training and receive his commission. A proud moment for family and friends. William has spent 11 months on the officer training course, and by all accounts, he's done well. He'll now join his brother Harry in the household cavalry. He'll concentrate on preparing himself for his future role as king.